Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to this crazy house without walls. Um, with me, your host, Khadija. I want y'all to hear something. And I think that wise people may want to take the time to explore this. A woman on TikTok stunned a Virginia police officer after she read him data she had compiled on his ticketing record against people of color for over six months. Charlotte Carter, 36, recorded herself rattling off to an officer who pulled her over about how 80% of the people he had stopped in the last six months have been black. Despite her claiming just 20% of the county's residents are black. This is the truth. This is how they give all black people these records. This is how we all behind a ball. This is how they take the job. This is how they keep you in the system. This is how they keep you locked. And what it is, is it's apartheid. This is a different form. Only 20% of the population of Chesterfield County is black. Carter tells the officer as he stands next to her window. So I don't know how you manage to 80, 80 ticket, 80% 80 minorities. And see, they don't want to hear it when you know who they are and what they've done. So a local news outlet, however, offers some insight. Reported in October that the majority of drivers in Virginia are black or Latino. Carter says she believes she was pulled over in an act of intimidation for videos she has posted to the app discussing alleged corruption inside the law, local law enforcement. But she has been arrested herself multiple times by Chesterfield Police Department, which now says she is trying to get attention. Um... The last six months, you ticketed from what, from when I did this to about a month ago, you had ticketed 250 people in Chesterfield that had gone to Chesterfield Court, she tells the officer. The video, which is captioned, Racist Cops Retaliating, has received more than 1 million views and has been likened to nearly 138,000 people has been liked by that many. Mr. Scott, you pull over 80% of black people. I went through all of your tickets for six months. Okay? And only 20% of the population of Chesterfield is, is, is black. So, I'm just questioning the math. How does it add up? <laughs> you know that was not something they wanted to hear. Let me see if I can play it. So, Mr. Scott, you pull over over 80% black people. I've, I've went through all of your tickets for six months. <clears throat> and when there's a population of only 20% white people, of black people, only 20% of the population of Chesterfield is black. <clears throat> I don't know how you managed to ticket over 80% minorities. And I, I did a TikTok about it. I know that you know what I'm talking about because all y'all know about my TikToks. So, <clears throat> that's okay. I'm not on TikTok, so I know I don't. <laughs> oh, and then someone even commented and said, I'm pretty sure S. Scott is a state trooper. I said, well, whoever it is, he's gung-ho because I only had to go back six months with you. In the past six months, you had ticketed, from when I did this about a month or two ago, you had ticketed... 250 people um, that in Chesterfield that had gone to Chesterfield Court. And the person that I did in comparison to you had ticketed 240 people in an entire year. But you, I only had to go back six months, so you sure do write a lot of tickets, but... You can take your pen. <clears throat> There's your ID and your copy, okay? That's funny. On <laughs> that is funny! <laughs> <laughs> he didn't like that. He did not like that. Oh, well. 
I mean, why is it? This is the kind of stuff we have to be more active about. This is how you get off your frustration. Start doing some um, research. Start looking at these officers that uh, always making their quota because you know, they have to make a certain amount of arrests. So you're not trying to stop them from doing their job. They have to write a certain amount of tickets, otherwise they get fired. It's a real sticky situation. But now when you get to targeting people that you know are the poorest section or uh, and are the most poverty stricken, then that's where the problem comes. Because you just re-traumatizing everybody. Why don't you set up a sting in the suburbs and start arresting those people? See how fast that the, they'll come down on you and you'll have to stop that shit. The only people that can be disrespected like that are black people and brown people. And it's a travesty because this country can never be what it should have been, what it could have been, until we fix this race problem. I'll see you in the next video.